I'm very happy that you are interested in psychiatry. It's a wonderful field. I'm also excited that you are checking out Georgetown. Um, we have a lot of very good information on our website about rotations, um, residents, faculty, sites, and I hope that you'll take the time to look at that information to learn more about us. But there are things that are very difficult to convey through a website. Uh, for example, the spirit of the place, what it's like to be a trainee here. This is why we created this video in order for our residents to directly tell you what it's like for them to be a resident here at different stages of training. Before we go to those videos, I wanted to tell you a couple of things that I think are important about our program. The first one is that this is a place where you will receive excellent training that's evidence-based in diverse sites and diverse populations, such that whenever you're ready to start your career, you will feel well-prepared and well-trained and confident. That's an important thing. The other important thing is that we do it in an environment where we provide a lot of support, where faculty are accessible and approachable, and where we care a lot about your wellness and everybody's wellness. Um, so I really hope that you think about uh, Georgetown for Residency and we look forward to seeing you on interview day. I would define PGY one year as learning how to be a doctor and seeing as many patients as possible from all different facets of life. We rotate at three different hospitals. What's great is that we do about six months of psychiatry, four months of medicine, and then two months of neurology. Uh, so throughout that time, we see a vast array of different patient populations. This is where you really start to learn how to be a doctor, especially on some of the inpatient medicine rotations where you're on a team and you're managing several patients medically and you get to build your skills with general medicine and that often transitions over to our psychiatry rotations. I think I'm being set up to be a successful psychiatrist just based on the variability of our rotations this year. The span of patients and the span of you know diseases or mental illness cases that we see really vary based on the hospital site. So I think that gives us enough exposure to better help figure out what type of psychiatrist we want to be. I think that this first year has been very important and very beneficial for kind of getting a taste of everything that's to come. PGY2 is the year that you really get to dive into just psychiatry. So we're done at that point with any off-service rotations that you have to do in your intern year, like neurology or internal medicine, and you're just exposed to psychiatry all the time. We're on quite a few rotations where we really run the service, so we are given a lot of autonomy. We hold the pager, we field the consults, we take the admissions. Um, so you really get the chance to practice what kind of physician um, you're going to be, of course, with the supervision of attendings. We rotate at, um, of course, Georgetown University Hospital, doing various rotations, whether it's the inpatient service or the consult liaison service. You also do uh, VA rotations that could be telehealth, so like completely remote from home, but you do get exposure to that VA patient population and those pathologies, namely PTSD. And then we also get to rotate at Washington Hospital Center. Um, you see a lot of trauma cases and that translates to, you know, the various cases that we get to see on the consult service. And then we also get exposure to an involuntary unit. Um, at Washington Hospital Center, which is a really important just experience to have in terms of psychiatry residency. I think that this is the year where you really um, come into your own as a psychiatrist and get to practice um, the type of medicine that you want. As a PGY3, it's the first time you're kind of 
mainly outside the hospital. As a PGY-1 or 2, you're mainly in the hospital learning the ropes of inpatient psychiatry. You know, if you're an intern, you're learning inpatient medicine or neurology, but this is the first year you're really doing therapy and managing outpatient psychiatric medications and seeing patients for more than just once or twice in the hospital. You're seeing them throughout the year, making sure they're okay. It's very rewarding in a very different way from the inpatient, because inpatient, it's kind of, you see the improvements very quickly, whereas outpatient, it is a longer, you know, process. But once you start seeing that process, it's, it's very nice, frankly, to see patients get better over a longer period of time with the medication management or the therapy that you've been doing with them. It's, you know, they're doing as much work as you are. I think PGY-3 year is when you start becoming more grounded as a psychiatrist. You're no longer just in the hospital responding to acute crises or, you know, in the hospital crises. You're now answering to outpatient calls, you know, outpatient needs, and you're really exploring what it means to be an outpatient psychiatrist that you've never really experienced before, probably. Because you're finally seeing what outpatient is truly like, you, un you, start, you start to understand what you like about inpatient, what you like about outpatient, if you want to do one or the other, or a little bit of both. So developmentally and professionally, it's, start, it's when you start learning what you really want to do. It's pretty exciting. A, a day in the life of a PGY4 resident at Georgetown uh, looks like being a chief. At Georgetown, we have a different chief for every site that, uh, that the residents rotate at. So we have a Georgetown chief, we have a hospital center chief, that was my role, we have a VA chief, and then an outpatient chief as well. So the, the duties are divided up uh, to site-specific uh, rotations that our students and our residents are going through. The, the training that we receive in our first three years at Georgetown, it really, it really does set us up to be experts by the time we're in our chief year, to the point that we're able to help supervise residents and uh, if, if anybody has any clinical questions, we're able to talk the residents through it, any difficult cases. We, uh, we're, tr we're trained well enough at this point that we can, we can handle it ourselves for the most part without having to escalate it to the attending. What's cool about the PGY4 year at Georgetown is that half of our time is protected for electives. We can do anything that we want, any kind of uh, deep dives into training uh, that we didn't really get in our first three years. If we are interested in interventional psych, for example, we could set up our own rotations and spend our time doing that. PGY4 is really about solidifying who we are as psychiatrists, how we're going to practice, and taking that next step into whatever comes next after residency.